Hi guys, please excuse the no makeup look. I was just outside in the backyard for a couple of hours just fixing up my garden and doing uh, transplanting plants and pots and um, it was definitely sunnier than, I mean I knew it was sunny but I didn't even think about like wearing other clothes besides this so I'm a little bit red and I'm going to take a shower after this but I thought it would be fun to film uh, makeup that I'm trying to use up and uh, because I haven't done one of those in a very long time and it's always an ongoing process of trying to use up my makeup but there are certain products that I really want to finish up in the next like maybe the summer um, and there's certain ones that I just haven't thrown out yet and I'll do that in the video because they're just too old and my philosophy is on makeup if it starts to smell bad look funny and it just doesn't work the same anymore then I get rid of them and there's just some that I've been holding on to wishing that they would go back to the way they were but they're obviously not going to so let me just turn you around and I'll show you the makeup products that I am currently trying to use up this is my current makeup setup and I'm not gonna go into giving you a tour but if you want me to show that to you just let me know uh, so these are the products that I'm using every day and then back here I just wanted to point out so these are all of my liquid makeup products and I feel like liquid or clean creams have the shortest shelf life of any makeup products so I keep them out in the forefront so that I know that I need to be using that up so just to quickly go over what's in here that's foundation that's like cream blushes and contour uh, primers face primers uh, these are my uh, favorite lipsticks so I just have them out there and then these are like color tattoos um, and other makeup products like that eyeliners in different color concealers which I think I want to switch this okay forget it I want to bring the concealers closer down there uh, and then here are liquid eyeliners and uh, brow products and that's just to remind me to switch out I mean to like not to switch out but to remind me that those are liquid products and I need to be using them okay after about struggling for 10 minutes to set you guys up here we are hopefully this will work uh, so this are, these are the makeup products that I try to use every day and I want to start off with my setting sprays just because they're right there. Uh, this is the Physician's Formula Rosé All Stay and it's a illuminating setting spray and I really like this. If you can see there, uh, there is there is some shimmer in there but I don't feel like you look like you are a disco ball at all. It has a really nice scent and this one has a really nice scent as well. It's the Milani Make It Last and while I probably wouldn't repurchase both the both of these I love setting sprays and it just makes your face refreshed so I'll be using these up and I'm kind of using them like one every other day and these two up here are not products that I'm using up but I like them to be out there uh, just because they're the newest products that I have opened up so this is the Fenty Beauty uh, foundation I have the color let's see it was kind of hard for me to pick out a color I felt like I was several but it's 220 and I really like it. I feel like you don't even need a powder for that. Um, if you have if you have dry skin, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Then here is the Urban Decay Concealer, and this one is the All Nighter Concealer. And I have to play with that a little bit more, um, but I do like it. I used it the other day just with that on places that needed to be concealed, and then uh, put a powder over it. And then here we have a bunch of mascaras, and I, I've i struggled with mascaras and throwing them away when they don't work for me. And for me, I like mascaras that give me a curl, and unless it's waterproof, they don't do that, and a lot of these are waterproof. Like this one I'll keep because this one is the Ico Sport Waterproof Mascara. And uh, this one is my favorite, you guys know this. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast. Uh, I do love this new CoverGirl one, the brush, let me just show you. This brush, even though it doesn't look like anything, it's just the way, let us see, as, it's just really good at separating and makes me look like I have a lot of lashes. I wish they would come out with a waterproof one, 
Um, but there's just a bunch of samples in here that I should probably get rid of. And even this one, the it super it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, the it cosmetics superhero one. It doesn't hold my curl at all, so I should just get rid of it. And I will after this. Uh, these are not products that I'm trying to use up, but when I want to do an eye look, uh, I have the Man Eater uh, right now. I love this one, and I think eyeshadows or eyeshadows and. No, I want to say eyeshadows are number one for me, to, uh, hard to finish, because I don't really wear a lot of eye, eyeshadows, so, but I love this one. And I might bring this one with me on my cruise, I don't know. And then this is the current contour and blush that I am using by NARS. And then this is the Becca highlight in Opal. Love this one. So pretty. It's my favorite and it feels so nice. Uh, this is another powder that I am uh, using, but also using up, if that makes sense. This is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. Gives great coverage. I could just wear this by itself. And this one is a medium. Okay, then we go into the drawers here. And down here, we have this face powder. I forgot the brand. It was from a Mishi box a long time ago. And as you can tell, I am almost done with it. I just have a little bit more to go. The only problem is I'm a little bit more tan now, and this is pretty light powder. And then we have this. So this is a CoverGirl container. But the product that's in here is the Maybelline, Maybelline Dream Mousse Foundation. And, I mean, I can finish this. I just have to consistently use it. And since it's a summertime, though, I tend to just do more powder than anything so I've been really using like it cosmetics products uh, because I feel like they give the best coverage and then in here let me just see if I can even though I took so long to set this up I want to try to give you a better view okay so that's how that's as good as it's gonna get for right now so here I have the primers that I'm trying to use up this is the Dino Platts Pearl Bay, Bay Invasion and it's a shimmery uh, primer and I like to use that all over my face but then with these two primers uh, they're more like the silicone kind of base um, or primer. This is the Lancome La Base Perfecting Makeup Primer Smoothing Effect and then this one is the NYX No Filter uh, blurring primer so I'll switch these on and off but I like to put these in my t-zone areas just because I have really big pores uh, foundation wise another foundation this is the covergirl at last day fabulous remember when this was all the rage I like this a lot but I just don't read for foundations right now and then I have several concealers oh you know what let me show you the eye primer so this is a Smashbox primer that I depotted because there was so much product left in there so I couldn't squeeze any more out but I cut open the tube and look how much sorry my camera work I'm trying to look down here but also I should be looking at the camera so this was what was left so tons of product and I really like that product uh, so I have this pixie concealer uh, it's the brightening peach uh, it's a corrector actually uh, but I'm gonna get rid of that because it just smells kind of weird the same thing for this Mac product and I'll put it for my back to Mac bag in my back to Mac bag this is probably also gonna I'm gonna toss because it's old but I really like this concealer I don't know if they make it anymore it's the Revlon one uh, age defying concealer and I had the color medium I'm not the one I'm not the type to put a really bright concealer on under my eye although I, now I'm going to show you this product and I do like this one but I always put it uh, I'll put I'll put this on but then I'll put like uh, I won't use it for brightening my under eye I will use it to highlight though so this is and I took off that spongy thing because I never knew when the product was coming out um, this one is probably on its last legs as well and then for brows, I have a few products that I'm using up. This is, so this is the NYX mascara, uh, sorry, let me read the side that I can read. NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and it's one of those brush, it, brush head ones. 
and I really like this, uh, especially if I'm in a hurry. So I like to put this over uh, a liner that I put on, and I have two liners that I have is the It Brow Power. Looks like that. Really like that. And then this one is the Maybelline Brow Brow Time and Fill Duo. Sorry, I don't have a clue. Uh, so this is, this, I never use this set. I t used it to test it out once, but I don't like that. Um, and then here is what it looks like on the inside. And then for liners, oh, you know what? This is another product. This is Tony Moly Silky Touch Brow. <sighs> this camera work, guys, I am so sorry. I'm too busy looking down. But... There is that one, and this one has a spoolie, which I love spoolies, because I feel like that blurs out the eyebrows uh, that I want to create, and I don't like a, uh, a really precise brow. And then this is the uh, brush tip. It's a diff brush tip, but this is a different, no, what do you call this, a sponge tip. But this is a little too light for me, but I can make it work, I think. And then for the last product here, these are two liners. Uh, this one is a Positions Formula Eye Booster, and I really like the tip of this. It's super thin and um, just stays on. Really, really do like this product. If you have oily lids like me, this you should try that. And then this one as well for oily lids. So this is the Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour. I don't know if we last 17 hours, but. This one is also has a really nice tip, although you should get some of the excess, excess product off, but I really do recommend this as well. I hope you guys enjoyed what's currently in my makeup collection that I am using up and what I use every day. And I know I didn't mention any lip products and lip, and I mentioned in uh, when I was showing you the things, eyeshadows are probably two of the hardest products that are hard for me to use up because I really don't wear a lot of eye makeup. I just like to do eyeliner. For special events, I'll use both of those, like the eyeshadow and the lips products, but for every day, it's something that I skip. And really, my favorite lip product right now is the CO Bigelow Rose Self. I just put some on before this video. I love this thing, and there's still so much left in there. I use it every day, before bed, during the day, and that's probably my favorite lip product. I don't know why I continue to get lip products when I don't use them. I love in the fall, though, like if we're going out to use a dark lip, but I really don't wear, uh, I don't like the feeling of lipstick on my lips, and so that's just, it's a lot of needing to, like, either throw these things away or just give them away because I'm not using them and there was a time uh, when uh, when that was really big decluttering your collection and finishing up a certain number of products by this time and uh, while I love that idea it was following like those rules where I felt like it was kind of like it became a chore and so I just kind of want to I do want to use up these products but I don't want to feel like I need to finish it up by a certain amount of time so um, because I don't wear this stuff every day unfortunately like I haven't put well to be honest with you I haven't changed out of my PJs either so um, when it's too hot I don't like wearing a lot of makeup and finishing up those liquid products is hard like the liquid foundations is hard for me during the summertime or when I'm feeling very warm because it just makeup will just slide off my face um, but I hope you did enjoy watching what I am currently using up right now and hopefully, I mean I do need to declutter my makeup and maybe I'll film that again or maybe I won't. Um, let me know if you guys want, are interested in seeing that and let me know what your current uh, beauty favorites are and yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!